Hello guys! Now, ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, I want to break down and discuss the current problems and situations I'm having and facing as a CSGO content creator on the platform of YouTube in 2022, and many others are facing this as well. This is one a message to content creators, but also viewers of CSGO videos on YouTube. You guys, I believe, deserve a huge understanding since you're the reason we're all here and put in this position to make videos in the first place. And it doesn't matter if you're coming from the CSGO investing space, case unboxings, trade-up videos, best major plays, or stream highlights. You still all deserve equally an understanding of what's happening to your favorite CSGO content creators and currently myself, I don't want to share my part of it. And for content creators, this is more of a heads up of what's going to come or possibly can come in the future, because I feel like this is happening to everybody and I've talked to many people and this is happening to them as well. And that is, of course, demonetization for CSGO is very, very high. The rate of people getting demonetized in the CSGO space right now is extremely high. And it's very bad, of course. You're not gaining any money, and especially if this is your full-time job, like YouTube is my full-time job right now with some other things on the side, that's not very good that I'm not getting paid from videos. But the problem I have with this is, of course, that when your video gets demonetized or has limited to no ads, which all my videos are facing pretty much when I upload to YouTube, is, of course, they don't get pushed out to newer viewers and newer newer people that would get recommended your videos if they were monetized in the first place. So growing your YouTube channel while demonetized or limited to no ads is extremely hard. And my current subscribers that I've earned, that I've earned out of my hard work and dedication this past year are not getting recommended sometimes my videos. So that's mainly the problem I'm facing with it with many other people as well. So recently I've gone as far to do a lot of research on this. There's not a whole lot on it. But what I can see is that many other content creators like Anomaly, Nade King, Jesus, and other content creators are all trying to figure out why this is happening. When realistically, the reasoning for YouTube demonetizing our videos is of course we're making all fake passports. That doesn't matter if it's about skins, case unboxing, or whatever. And I think a lot of this is honestly due to the fact that CSGO has had a lot of backlash and controversy in the past due to the gambling thing with FaZe, the cheating situations that we have in the game, scams that happen every single day. And of course this is pretty much the unregulated stock market I would say for CSGO skins that not a whole lot of other people know about. Anomaly recently for an example has gone as far to see if it was his channel getting flagged or just a video getting flagged. And he's gone as far as to stare at a wall for 10 minutes to see if it would get monetized, which it didn't with everyone's luck and his his own. I've gone as far to upload an unlisted Minecraft Let's Play to the YouTube channel to see if my videos would get monetized and they didn't. So what this tells me is CSGO content creators, their whole channel is getting kind of asked and put into a review after they upload it. When you do the self check, you can request a review. If you can request a review by a human at YouTube, which will deem it suitable for advertisers and non-suitable. But the problem I'm facing is with my content, it has to be uploaded and posted the same day day. You can't really upload videos on my channel in advance. Sometimes you can, but most of the time you can't. And it takes up to seven days for YouTube to review your videos. So I can't have a market update from a week ago, get posted a week later because those numbers are extremely outdated. Most of the views that you're going to get with money as well is going to be received within the first 24 to 48 hours of posting a YouTube video. That's anyone's YouTube video. Even someone like Mr. Beast, the majority of views and money he'll get from that video from YouTube is going to be within the first day or two. This past year has been extremely lucky and I've been very fortunate and thankful to be in the position that I am today. Essentially, the first year of YouTube, the first six to eight months of that, I wasn't making any money on YouTube. I was making videos prior to this for like eight years, just on and off. And I tried to do CSGO for a year to see if I could be semi-successful in it, which we've grown a community and an audience, which is awesome. And I've actually been able to make a decent living off of this. But with this YouTube hit, it's kind of harder to do that. A couple hundred dollars a month does make a difference because I'm barely trying to make ends meet with doing some other things on the side as well. But at the end of the day, I'm happy doing this. I'm not rolling around in Lambos and beds full of money, but I'm happy. And that's all that matters to me anyway. But I know people are facing the exact same situation as me who are kind of needing that extra couple hundred bucks. And on top of that, they can't grow their YouTube channel because it's not getting monetized for whatever reason. So maybe Source 2 might fix this in the future when they add defenders and attackers and make things more reasonable for advertisers, but I'm not sure. And for me recently, the current situation with Actman and of course Quantum TV has really sparked my attention. And this is actually why I wanted to make this video was because I've realized that any point in time, your existence on the internet, especially mine, if you're doing something wrong or you don't know you're doing something wrong and boom, your existence could be gone within the snap of a finger. And well, with that, I've been thinking of maybe switching to another platform, but I believe YouTube is the best platform for making videos and still is today, even when this is happening. There's no other platform like YouTube with an algorithm that it has, the viewers that it has, and the way you can upload videos. I think it's amazing. It's just going through a little rough patch right now. And with this recently, I've been lucky enough to make it and make ends meet every single month with sponsors. I'm very thankful for everybody who supports them and supports me in that situation. And maybe this can give some people an understanding on why maybe some YouTubers are taking more sponsors or different sponsors or sponsors in general who weren't before in this current situation. So what am I doing with the future? Obviously with this channel, I'm going to be continuing to upload YouTube videos three to five times a week. And with that, I plan on 
on maybe transitioning, I wanted to talk to you guys and ask you guys if this is something you'd be interested in. I have everything ready for a Twitch stream and I want to be on a different platform. I'm still going to be on YouTube. If you don't like live content, I can completely understand that. You're still going to have videos. Nothing's going to change. We're just going to be doing everything we do on YouTube live, which is going to be really fun. We're going to be talking about CSGO investments, doing some inventory checks, price checks, playing with viewers, playing some competitive, which is going to be absolutely amazing. And of course, if you don't want to wait for the stream and wait for everything to end, you can watch the stream highlights that will be posted on YouTube every week alongside our regular CSGO schedule. And of course, to fill the void of income and obviously to spread my content out more, to grow on a different platform besides YouTube to spread out more, I'd say that's a pretty good plan B. At the end of the day, it's a win-win for everybody. You guys get more content. You get an extra video every single week because it'd be stream highlights, of course. And I'm giving you a live reaction to everything as well. Let me know what you guys think down below of this situation at hand. I hope it gets fixed. I'm not sure if it will. I know a lot of other people are going through this as well. I've talked to a lot of other CSGO creators on Twitter. I suggest for other content creators just to stick in there and hold in there. If this is happening to you, I think this is eventually going to get passed over. And of course, if you have the time and energy, I would try maybe streaming on Twitch. And this is what I plan on doing in the future. If you guys want to check out our CSGO Twitch channel, link is down in the description below. Check it out. And I will have a trailer and a video this week ready to go for the announcement of our Twitch channel for live CSGO content. With that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, got a better understanding of what's going on. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button and of course, subscribe. Peace out, guys.